pleased to welcome to the show tonight Maya Rockymore Cummings. She's the widow of Oversight Committee Chairman Elijah Cummings. This is her first television interview since the passing of her husband. Dr. Rockymore Cummings, thank you so much for being here. It's a real honor to have you here. Thank you for having me on, Rachel. So your husband was a very, very valued guest here. Whenever we could get him, we would talk to his staff and we'd always get like a 20 percent chance or a 12 percent chance or some minor chance that he could join us. And whenever we could, we'd hold the spot for him uh, in the hope that he could be here. Um, we miss him, um, both his role as a leader and as somebody we could speak to whenever we could. I, I can't imagine that this hasn't just been the most difficult time of your life this past month. It's been a very challenging time, but I got to tell you, we watched you every night, Rachel. Mm. Uh, even if he wasn't on, he was watching. So just know uh, that he appreciated you as much as you appreciated him. Oh, that my heart swells. Um, thank you for saying so. I wanted to talk to you uh, tonight in part because I know that you've spoken with the Baltimore Sun recently uh, about some of your own news um, about your own uh, your own health and your own status. But also, uh, I believe that you've been doing some thinking about your own plans and the, the, the status of your husband's seat. And I just wanted you to invite you to share some of that with us. So tomorrow I will announce that I will be running for the Congress, uh, the 7th Congressional District of Maryland. Uh, I believe very strongly uh, that, um, you know, I have the background and the focus and the commitment uh, and the ability uh, to um, take the reins and to make a good run for this seat. Uh, I fought right alongside Elijah for the last, you know, 12 years, and we knew each other uh, another 10 years before that. Uh, and so I've been on this path uh, for fighting for the soul of our democracy, for fighting for health care, uh, education, uh, for a better America for all. And so he, want, he wanted me to continue this fight, and I'm going to continue this fight and run the race and, and prayerfully win. So you and your husband talked about this uh, before his passing. He was enthusiastic about the idea of you carrying this and, and trying to, um, to take this burden on for yourself. Yeah, we, you know, we've been discussing this for quite some time because he had been ill for quite some time, mm. and he had been pondering his future and what would happen to the seat. Uh, so about six months ago, uh, we were talking, and he said, you know, I, I really do think you should uh, take this seat. Uh, and so with that, you know, he would have expected of me, and I'm going to continue the fight. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is I've been fighting all along. You know, mm. I've had a track record of working on issues like Social Security and Medicare, uh, health care and economic security, and certainly uh, technology even. Uh, and so, you know, I was in the forefront of the battle to take on uh, George W. Bush when he tried to privatize the system. I've been working hard in the trenches at every level of government to advance policies that help working families. Uh, and so I am prepared and I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and address what Baltimore needs. Uh, Baltimore uh, ha is a city of great potential. Uh, but it has lopsided economic outcomes, lopsided health outcomes, uh, lopsided educational outcomes. And the poorest people, the black and brown population of the city and certainly surrounding areas, uh, are in need of somebody who's willing to launch what I call an inclusion revolution. Uh, someone who's really, really ready to tackle the, the structural challenges that are facing the city and the surrounding areas. I believe that a better future is possible for Baltimore. And so I'm looking forward to bringing everything that I got uh, to make sure that we have a better future for the city and the region. Dr. Cummins, I wanted to ask you about this conversation that you had with the Baltimore Sun this week, that you plan uh, to have a preventative double mastectomy um, this week, which is a remarkable decision, must be an incredibly momentous decision for you. At the same time, you're making this huge decision about your future. Um, can you talk a little bit about why you chose to go public with that decision and, and how serious this is for you? So let me just first say that this was scheduled before running for office was ever a consideration, before mm. Elijah's health took a really bad turn for the worse. Uh, he went with me to the doctor's appointment where I got a consultation about this option, uh, and he agreed and begged me uh, several times before he passed away to prioritize myself. Uh, and so with that, I decided to keep, even though he passed away and even though this race is now before me, I decided to keep my promise to him, and I will keep this uh, appointment on Friday uh, where I will do this. I should tell you that my mother died of stage four breast cancer in 2015. Mm. My sister was diagnosed with stage two last year. Uh, she's my little sister diagnosed with stage two. She had a double mastectomy. Uh, and now I want to get ahead of the curve uh, and take the basically the bull by the horns uh, and, and stop it in its tracks before it ever begins. 
Uh, so I'm going to do this, uh, and I'm, the way I'm going to do it is just by moving forward, uh, one step at a time, one day at a time. That being said, I, although it will take two to four weeks in terms of recovery, I will be laser focused on making sure that I am active, making sure that my campaign is strong, that I'm doing everything that I need to do to fundraise and, of course, uh, focus on uh, social media and the things that I can do uh, to have a presence even while I'm not physically able to be out in the community. Dr. Maya Rocky Moore Cummings, thank you so much for talking with us about about all these matters uh, and stay in touch with us. We'd love to uh, we'd love to, you to keep us surprised as you go through all these decisions. Thank you so much for being here, ma'am. Thank you. Thank Maya you. for Congress dot com. <laughs> right, well done. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.